When we do spatial analysis, what we're doing is asking questions about spatial relationships. And most relationships, spatial relationships, can be broken down into three types, intersection, containment, and proximity. Intersection means that two things overlap or touch in some way. For example, whether or not a river runs through a state or a town. Containment means whether or not something is inside of another thing. For example, whether or not your house is within a particular town. And proximity has to do with distance, how close or how far something is from another thing. Within ArcGIS, these three spatial relationships are analyzed in a variety of ways. And there are subtle differences amongst the different types. We're going to look at just a few that look at those three types of spatial relationships in ArcMap. Here we're looking at ArcMap, and I've added a few layers from the USA folder states, lakes, counties, rivers, and cities. And we're going to use these layers to look at a few spatial relationships and how you assess them in ArcMap. But before we do that, we have to make sure that we've set the projection and coordinate system for the data frame to a projected system. Because right now, what we're looking at, and you can tell by, somewhat by the distortion of the continent by Alaska, we're working with an unprojected system. And that can introduce errors into our spatial measurements. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to set the properties for the layers data frame by clicking on layers in the table of contents, going to the properties, and then where I want to end up is in the coordinate system tab. And I need to scroll up, and right now it's set, as you can see, to um, an unprojected coordinate system that uses spherical units, latitude and longitude, um, which is fine for mapping, but not so good for spatial measurements. So I'm going to scroll up here, and I'm going to collapse the geographic coordinate systems folder, and I'm going to expand the projected coordinate system folder, and I'm looking for the um, continental, there it is, it was already at the top, and then North America, and I'm looking specifically for the North America Lambert conformal conic, there it is. It's the same um, coordinate system and projection that you used in Chapter 5 when you're working through uh, initial uh, exposure to arc map. So I've chosen that and I'll hit apply. Okay. And you can see right away that it changes the shape and dimensions of the continent Alaska. And if you think about it, it's sort of mimicking that curvature of the earth right there. Uh, but more importantly, it's going to allow us to make more accurate spatial measurements. And this is kind of important because if you do what we're going to do shortly uh, without setting the projection correctly, you might actually get different answers to your to the question, so it's kind of important that you follow through on this. Okay, so let's zoom in on the contiguous US, the lower 48, and we're going to look at a few of these spatial relationships. Let's say, for example, that I wanted to identify the rivers that run through Texas. Okay, so that was my question. What rivers run through Texas? Well, that's an intersection question. Essentially, I'm asking which rivers intersect the state of Texas. So let's look more closely at this. I'm going to turn off the counties for a second so we can see it. So in order to do that query, it actually requires an attribute query before I can do the spatial query. I need to identify Texas first so I can isolate it. So I'm going to go to Selection, Select by Attributes, and I'm going to choose the states. State name, double click, equals, get unique values. I'm going to find Texas. I can actually type in here, Texas. There it is. So state name equals Texas. OK, so then Texas becomes highlighted. Now I can um, follow through with the spatial query. So again, I go to the selection menu up here. And select by location is the tool that we use to do um, spatial queries. So I'll choose that. brings up the select by location dialog window. And the way this works is that when you do select by location, you have a target layer. This is the thing that you're going to select from, the things that are going to be highlighted. And then you have down here a source layer. And this is going to be the thing that drives the selection. Right? So in this case, what we want to select is a state, or excuse me, I'm sorry, a river. We want to select the rivers right, that intersect Texas. So the source layer will be the states. And I want to make sure that I'm using down here, it says Use Selected Features. So what it's saying is I'm going to select the rivers that are going to be driven by the selected state of Texas. And I want to 
choose down here in the drop down I have to scroll up a little bit intersect the source layer feature okay there's a lot of options here not all of them are going to be wrong but they can be slightly different answers so again what I'm looking for here is I want to select features from the rivers select the rivers that intersect the source layer which is the states layer specifically the selected state okay and I don't want to use a search distance quite yet and then I'll hit apply okay and what you'll see is that the rivers that intersect Texas have been selected right and the question might be well which ones and how many so of course if I look at the attribute table for the rivers I can see right away that five of them have, have been selected and if I look at just the selected records I can see which ones they are okay important point here uh, for example the Rio Grande River uh, you'll notice if you know anything about your geography the Rio Grande River is this river right here and it defines a boundary between southwestern Texas and Mexico so it technically doesn't run through Texas it defines the border but remember intersection means that something touches so it doesn't necessarily have to overlap per se but if it shares a boundary then it technically touches and so that qualifies as an intersection okay so that was in a simple intersect function let's look at another one let's say we wanted to find out something that was a little more difficult looking at counties rather than states and there's quite a few counties in the country let's say I want to know how many or excuse me which counties are intersected by rivers right or in other words which counties does a river run through so similar type except it's much simpler now because I'm not specifying any particular county so again selection select by location I want to select features this time not from the rivers I want to select the counties through which the rivers run so I'll choose counties that then makes the source layer the rivers right because I'm going to select counties using the rivers right and I want to make sure that I'm intersecting again hit OK takes a long it's more complicated and you can see then all the counties that run in ribbons following those rivers okay how many is that well that's probably a larger number if we open the attribute table and look at that okay see 900 quite a few counties right not something you want to do manually okay so there we have two examples of an intersection operation um, let's say that we want to do a containment example clear all the selected features here let's say that I want to identify all the counties that contain state capitals okay? all the counties that contain state capitals so that's going to require a two-step process I need to select the cities that are state capitals first and then I'll be able to identify the counties that contain them okay so it turns out that in the cities attribute table if you look at that it has a column called capital and if you scroll down just a bit most of it most of the entries are empty but some of them contain the word state which indicates they're a state capital so I want to select those so I'm going to do a select by attributes and I'm going to select from the cities those where capital equals and get unique values here state okay capital equals state so select all the records where the word state appears in the record or the row for that city so I hit OK alright you see those are highlighted throughout the country every state has a state capital so now what I want to find out is what counties are those in right? which counties contain those state capitals maybe I want to know about the average size of the county maybe I'm trying to find out some information about the typical type of county uh, that you find a state capital in so this is a select by location so selection select by location okay this time I'm selecting features from what from the counties right because the counties are the things I want to identify so counties are already selected from the last operation we did the source layer will be what the cities right we're using the cities because that's what we're asking we're asking about we're asking which counties contain those highlighted cities, those capitals. So again, I got to make sure that it says use selected features, right? So it's not looking at all cities, just the selected ones. And then I'll hit OK. Okay. 
and you'll see those are highlighted. They're kind of small, but if we zoom in, we can see a little more detail, and you can see the counties that are highlighted. The cities are right near the edge. And there you can see the capital city and the county, right? Okay, so that's a containment operation, looking for something that's within another thing.